Let's take a look at uh, the concept of adjusted present value. So adjusted present value, or APV, is a capital budgeting technique. And what it does, it says the value of a project to the firm can be thought of as the value of the project to an unlevered firm, that is a firm not using any debt, NPV, plus the present value of the financing side effects, NPVF. So there are four side effects of financing. There's a tax subsidy to debt. There's the costs of issuing new securities. There's the costs of financial distress. And there are subsidies to debt financing. So you want to account for these sort of things, right? You don't want to use just an unlimited amount of debt because that increases the cost of financial distress or bankruptcy. But using debt has a big advantage because interest payments are tax deductible. So you gain an advantage by using debt. That is, the government is picking up a fraction of the interest costs. So let's take a look at an example here. Suppose the cost of capital is 14% and we have the following cash flows. The cost is minus 1,000 and the cash flows are 200, 300, 400, and 500 over this four year period. If we calculate NPV, we get a minus 27.69. The fact that NPV is negative means we should reject this project. But if we consider the financing effects, it's possible that the project may be good. So let's imagine that the firm finances the project with $800 of debt at 7%. Let's say the tax rate is 22%. The annual tax yield is going to be the tax rate times the amount of bonds or debt times the rate on those bonds. So that would be 0.22, the 22% tax rate, times the $800 uh, in debt times the 7% that uh, the debt is paying, which turns out to be uh, $12.32 per year. So the present value of the tax yield, we're just going to take the present value of this, 1232 over these four years, is 4173. So now our adjusted uh, present value is the NPV of the project, 20, minus 27.69, plus the present value of the tax yield, or the net present value of the tax yield, which is 41.73, and we get 14.04. So the project did not look good originally on an unlevered basis, but when we account for the tax yield here, we see that it's actually a good project. So again, APV is a, is a different approach to capital budgeting, but it's a good one in that it accounts for the financing effect as well, which isn't accounted for in your tr traditional NPV calculations. So I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.